Jeff, the Crimson Tide are coming off their most dominant performance of the season, a 55 to 3 beatdown over Vanderbilt last Saturday. But as we shift our attention to this week, will the Tide have a greater challenge? A trip to Fayetteville to take on Arkansas. This is a very dangerous team we're playing in Arkansas. They have a very, very good team They're coming off a tough loss. You know, Sam's done a great job there to me, and they got a, they play with toughness. You know, they run the ball effectively. And on Saturday comes with the unique challenge of trying to slow down Arkansas quarterback K.J. Jefferson, who has proven to be a dynamic dual threat for the Hogs. And although he's a bulldozer as a runner, Alabama is keenly aware that he has the ability to beat them as a passer as well. He's so explosive and, and you know, people don't don't give him as much recognition he needs with his arm. Um, he throws the ball so well. You can't minimize the effectiveness of this guy as a passer. You know, he is really, really good. He's got a strong arm, uh, throws uh, the deep ball well and you know, they make a lot of explosive plays. And Alabama knows they'll be going into a hornet's nest Saturday up in Fayetteville. But after surviving a daunting road test earlier this season down in Austin, the Tide are ready for anything the rowdy Razorback faithful have in store for them. I love playing away. Uh, it just gives me juice knowing that this is their territory and we're coming to take over. So um, just being over there, especially after having my first away game at Texas, um, I know what to expect now. Jeff, the Razorbacks are coming off an emotional defeat Saturday against Texas A&M as they lost on a last minute field goal that doinked off an upright. Just a reminder that especially in the SEC, this is a game of inches, and Alabama will look to fight for every inch come Saturday up in Fayetteville. From Bryant-Denny Stadium, I'm Johnny Condon, ABC 3340 Sports.